Hey, what's going on? This is Richard from Ride.Tech checking in here at Atlanta. Brisk winter day. And today we've got the Go Plus folding electric scooter. As the world gets greener, it seems we're bombarded with new tech on the daily. Mobility companies are trying harder than ever to integrate familiar tech into their products. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it can be a little bit convoluted. Now fresh out the box, this scooter has a modern, maybe even a somewhat flashy aesthetic. And the scooter weighs in at just over 30 pounds. The scooter is powered by a 36 volt lithium ion battery and a 250 watt motor located just on the front wheel. Now with a max load capacity of 221 pounds, you can zip along the roads at speeds up to 15.5 miles an hour. Charge it to the fullest in about four to six hours, and you can get a range on this scooter of about 13 miles. And perfect for short commutes, the Go Plus e-scooter has two ways to ride. There's a standing and a sitting mode, and there's two ways to slow down as well. Use the handbrake button on the left-hand side to slow down, or just use the back tire brake using your foot. And its collapsible design seems pretty ideal for storing in smaller spaces. The scooter right here also has built-in cruise control. It's a bit unfamiliar as to how to access it, but me personally, I wouldn't use it because you never know when you're gonna have to stop on a dime. Also, I appreciate the scooter's sleep mode, which means it will turn off automatically after three minutes of inactivity. The Go Plus e-scooter employs your typical features such as battery meter, headlight, but here's where it gets a little weird. Now this scooter has an audio system. Now it's not surround sound, but it will catch the eyes of the crowd. That is for certain. It has five songs built in, and I'm not quite sure why. One, two, three, go! <laughs> When those songs get played out, you can program your own songs into the scooter, or better yet, just connect your phone using Bluetooth. Yeah, the scooter has Bluetooth. It's kind of funky, and I might dig it a little bit. Now at a modest price of $5.99, the Go Plus e-scooter is pretty neat, but at the same time, I find it to be a bit gimmicky. What do you think? Tell us in the comment section. I'm Richard, and this is Ride.Tech.